Hey everybody, it's Miracle, and Happy New Year's to all of you. Um, I hope you didn't party too hard or do anything too brash last night that you're uh, in a bad situation. But <laughs> anyways, and today in this one, I just want to go over the updates we'll be seeing in WoW this year. The things I'm excited for, stuff like that. This is just a quick little recap of what's to come. In case maybe you're just coming back, your New Year's, or whatever it may be. But just a quick little recap. So the first thing coming this year is 7.3.5, and it could literally be right around the corner. Heck, it could even surprise us and come tomorrow, which I don't foresee, honestly. Um, but tomorrow is a Tuesday. For some of you, it could be Wednesday, but this is the patch day usually, so it's possible it could come. However, it makes more sense to come on the 16th because a lot of the story involves the defeat of Argus. And... Um, as you can see, players may now use Raid Finder to access the final section of Antorus happens on the 16th. Considering this is all story related to the defeat of Argus, this means pretty much any player. I know there's going to be a lot of wipes in Raid Finder, but I mean, any player could technically get it on the 16th, if you understand what I'm trying to say. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot easier on the 16th, so it would make more sense to release 7.3.5 then. But, they could surprise us and do it tomorrow. Um, sometimes they do stuff like that, right? So, it's possible 735 around the corner. Very, very nice to see. Um, honestly, I I'm excited for the story because I do like, you know, lore and things like that. I love reading about it. I love reading you know, all that kind of junk. But, I'm more excited for what's going to happen with this little drain eye child, Una. And if you uh, remember, I was uh, warning you all to get her as soon as possible before 735 releases because there is going to be secret elements about this child. Um, must be standing. Oh, well, okay. But yeah, there's going to be secret little event or something involving her. <laughs> and um, it's going to definitely be interesting right uh, they, they won't reveal a lot of this stuff they try to hide secret elements like that on ptr so whatever it may be is mostly hidden and um you know it's it's too you can't break it right it's not it's not allowed access so uh can't think of the word i want to say for it but yeah not allowed to access it right now they've uh put it behind a wall encrypted it that's what it is encrypted all the information of around revolving around it oh my gosh <laughs> they've encrypted all the info so yeah you don't really know what's going to happen with this little child so if you haven't got her make sure you go get her now in 7.35 they're also doing the leveling changes i've expressed a lot of my views about the leveling changes again just a quick little understanding what it is is pretty much Every zone is going to scale up to the cap of that expansion. So, for example, vanilla zones, they'll go from level 10. If it's a starting zone like Darkshore, it'll go from 10 to 60. So every monster in Darkshore would be your level all the way up to 60. But after 60, it no longer scales to you. And then at 60, you can choose between Northrend or Outland. You know, it, it, it's giving you more options for leveling, stuff like that. It's very, very cool, the scaling system. But most of you said I was being negative. I wasn't trying to be negative when I expressed my thoughts on this leveling change. I was rather just trying to uh, make it more exciting. Things that I thought would be... I didn't really think it was really helping the issue. Most people say, well, with higher HP monsters, you get to use your rotation, things like that. And... I was just expressing that, I mean, it really doesn't matter. When it comes to leveling, I don't really feel like you learn a whole lot of anything, especially when it comes to actual content. Um, for example, I used myself as an example. I was, a, I mean, a lot of people in vanilla were noobs, but I was an extraordinary noob, right? Terrible noob. So, when I leveled as a rogue, I used Sinister Strike and Eviscerate. I would go click, click, click. Yeah, I was a clicker back then, so click, 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 click viscerate i didn't understand the utility of slice and dice or kidney shot or any, any of those things i was like why would i ever use this when i can click this five times and then the monster dies when i eviscerate why on earth would i ever use any of these other buttons that was my thought process leveling and um sure enough i found out how terrible i was when i finally got to 60 and did real content you understand so 
I understand that, you know, having monsters with higher HP is going to allow people to click more buttons, but I still don't feel like they, they're really going to learn any reason why they're clicking those other buttons when it still makes more sense to go, oh, I can just spam four Shadow Bolts and the monster dies. Why should I put these other six buttons on the monster, you know? That's how I see it. I thought changes to leveling would be more fun if they would have implemented, rather than just giving monsters more HP, they do something to make the world a little more active, like world quests. What if they put world quests for leveling all over the map? I feel like that would be much more enticing than the changes they made, but again, it's all my opinion. You can like these changes perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. 735 is around the corner. A lot of people are coming back just for the leveling changes, so... Again, there's nothing wrong with enjoying it. I just merely expressed my opinions why I didn't really think it did a whole lot for the game. I don't think it's more enticing to make leveling slower with real, no real changes, you know. But, all opinionated. So, moving on. Now after 735, there isn't much to be seen. I believe they said there might be more story elements being released. So, 735 might not be the last patch, but it's the last major patch. Nothing else is really coming after 735. We might find more story elements. Obviously, the uh, burning, right? We gotta find out how this happens, how this happens. A lot of stuff <laughs> could be uh, coming before Battle for Azeroth, seen as the cinematic is saying the events of this have already happened. Therefore, we can see how that story unfolds up until Battle for Azeroth's actual release. So, as for any major patch, no. They pretty much said they don't plan to release any more raids, nothing like that. But there's plenty of stuff they could introduce um, along the lines of the story. And I really don't think, right, I don't want another Siege of Orgrimmar raid here, right? I can't think that Entaurus is going to last that long. I know I don't have any right to say that the Mythic run is easy because I haven't actually done it, but the fact that 24 guilds have already killed Mythic Argus at this point in time, to me, that seems pretty easy, right? Uh, it's very obvious that, you know, three or four guilds out there are always going to crush the hardest status very soon after its release. Or sometimes it even takes them weeks. So it only took, I think, like 10 days or something. And Argus was defeated uh, by like three or four guilds. And now at this point already, it's it hasn't even been that long since Argus was released. And 24 guilds are already at Mythic 11 out of 11. So to me, that seems... I don't know. I hope they don't drag out this raid, right? Because the next really, really big thing is Battle for Azeroth, um, so they could release all the story elements they want, but I don't know, the fact that guilds are already crushing this makes me feel like even the casual guilds, the not super hardcore, but the ones that still get ahead of the curve and stuff like that, are going to be knocking this out within the next, maybe by the end of February, right? Even the casual guilds are going to start knocking this out, since the more hardcore guilds have already gotten to, uh, 11 out of 11. So, yeah, that's a... I hope they don't drag it out, because I personally think that they should release Battle for Azeroth around May. To me, it makes sense. It means the raid doesn't drag on for that long, right? It's not a huge distance of uh, just the same raid. And at the same time, um, May is a perfect time for the people that are... Uh, a lot of the player base is made of people that are going to college or high school, stuff like that, things like that. And uh, May through July is, of course, summer break. Uh, it starts usually at the end of May and then carries on to July. It just seems like a great time for people to know life, the new expansion. So uh, to me, it seems like it would work out. I really hope they don't drag it on till August. Um... That's, I don't want another Siege of Orgrimmar, man. I, I just don't. I don't want it to happen. I don't know about you, but leave your thoughts down below on when you think the expansion will come out. Because, I, I, I don't know. I feel like they'd make a lot of players mad if they drug this on until uh, August. But, anyways, lastly, something else that was announced at BlizzCon. 
got me really hyped up is the release of classic servers. Now, I don't even think in 2018 we're going to see classic servers. I don't think it's just, I just don't see it happening. I'm very pumped for them though. And I made a video discussing like what I find to be the issues with classic servers. I don't have any problem with them in general. I absolutely believe they should create servers that if those people want to play this like that, then absolutely. Because even I want to play it. I do too. Um, but it's interesting to see the opinions of the community that are still flooding in on that video. Uh, I made that video, you know, w way back when. But, yeah, there's still constant comments coming in. And I love reading them. It's, it's very interesting, really, to see what everybody has to say. It'll still be a while, though, before we see them, I'm sure. And uh, when they finally do release... Based on all of the opinions I've read, I'm really interested to see what the final result of them will be. Because there's so many varying opinions on what should and shouldn't be in classic servers. It's just very baffling to me, right? But it makes it all the more exciting because, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's not that, I, I just can't wait to see the reaction of what happens when classic servers come out. There's... It's like 50-50 almost. I'm serious. When I read all the comments people say about it, it seems like 50% are like, don't change classic. And the other 50% are like, well, I wouldn't mind this. And, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know. It's a really big divide. But, who knows though, maybe we could go on for Siege of Wargamar length. Uh, we couldn't have classic servers till 2020 who knows it could all be uh, down the line right we don't know what's happening i guess only time will really tell though so anyways what are you looking forward to in 2018 drop your thoughts down below thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you again very soon Bye bye